Hi Rangers, I have a problem. I'm gonna make it your problem. Welcome. <laughs> uh, I have a four year old and a nine month old and they are beautiful, lovely little kids. But uh, in the last four years, they have drained my will to live. Okay, <laughs> in order to get serotonin, I have created uh, you know, model kits and painted them uh, and sort of used that as my escapism. And now I have this problem that I have all these miniatures that I don't use. I also used to work in a gaming shop. I have millions of miniatures. Millions! Uh, you know, well over several thousand dollars worth of miniatures over the years. Easy into like, you know, I don't know, five digits worth of miniature money spent on miniatures. And I don't use them at all because I have no friends. <laughs> That's not true. I have friends that live far enough away that it is a problem for me to be able to organize to play a game with them. The other problem I have is because I have two kids, as I just mentioned, the time that is my own is very, very limited and often in times when other people aren't available. Sure, I have a gaming shop that's literally 30 minutes down the road that I could go to, except they're not open at two in the morning when I am awake because my little girl has woken me up, right? There's no one there looking for a game at 2.30 in the morning. And sure, we could play online, whatever, but I have the miniatures. I've put them together. I have spent hours doing that. I've painted them so they look pretty. I want to use them. And so I'm like, how can I do that? How can I do that? Uh, I also like doing videos. It gives me serotonin. I hope my video gives you serotonin too. Uh, that's the plan. So. I'm gonna make some videos of me playing with my dollies. Uh, and hopefully you will enjoy that also. Um, and yeah, there we go. That's that's the whole deal of it. So how do we use this? How do we make these uh, videos interesting? Uh, also, how do I make it interesting for myself? And I'm gonna begin by telling you yet another long and winding story because I have ADHD and I am currently unmedicated. So enjoy the ride, kids. <laughs> so uh, when I was about 13, 14, I went to the local gaming shop, which then was called Elven Games in Liverpool, uh, New South Wales, and uh, that that group, they were playing some 40k, and this dude had a rhino and some white space marines, it was very cool, and I watched them play, and I was like, this is amazing, I want to have a go, and they gave me a little go, and I had a squad of like assault dudes with jump packs, and I jumped them into trees to get some cover, and they all died. Uh, you know, there's like third edition, second edition War Warhammer. Uh, that's, you know, uh, and I was like, yeah, this is really cool. And then I got into Lord of the Rings, which has a very strong narrative bent. Uh, and then I started going to local gaming stores to play games. And guess what they don't do in local gaming stores? There's no story. It's just, oh, I'm gonna throw my guys until they're all dead, and you're gonna throw your guys till we're all dead, and we're just gonna kill each other. And that's not interesting to me. And uh, I, there's some people who I talk to who play, and that's not interesting to them either. And even though we are of a like mind, getting them to do something where there is a story, very difficult. So for me, the story is really the key part. So I'm gonna do a narrative campaign for my first deal. A big part of this is learning the rules. Uh, like I said, I don't have a lot of retention for rules and things like that. Uh, so hopefully, uh, using a very simple system like one game rule, one page rules, uh, <laughs> Grim Dark Future, uh, I'll be able to you know cotton on to what that system is and be able to learn it fairly quickly. But I thought I would take you on the journey of my preparation for this campaign uh, and what to expect, and we'll start the video off that way. You've got some context for where we're going with this. Uh, without further ado, let's take a look at the homework that I've done for my own game, because I'm such a nerd. <laughs> okay, Rangers, so welcome to the gaming table, I guess. <laughs> this is, I, I think I'm calling it a battle log. Uh, this is the little book that I do my homework in, basically. My, my, my nerd book, where I write down my ideas and, and important things. Uh, the goal for this campaign, number one, first and foremost, is to use my minis. Uh, you know, it's going to be narrative, and the way I'm going to drive the narrative forward is just by working out who do I want to play with next. <laughs> I've already got some kind of cool ideas for where the story can go, uh, and hopefully they unfold and you, you dig what I end up coming up with. Uh, but the, the core driving function of these stories is like, what minis do I have ready and available? But also, what minis do I want to use? Um, uh, I want to learn the rules, because, you know, I haven't played in such a long time, and I can't really remember rules, so the more rules I... You know, more games I play, the more rules I learn, the more rules I learn, the better I am as a gamer, right? Uh, and most importantly, have fun. And hopefully you're having fun too. Uh, the structure of this one's going to be loose narrative, and it's going to be scenario-based. So, um, I was like, where can I get scenarios from? The first one that we're going to see with this setup here with the red dots, which we'll be playing a bit later on, uh, probably tomorrow, uh, is something that I made up myself, which, you know, I do, but I can't make up scenarios for forever. 
kind of a crazy person do you think I am? Uh, so, uh, there's this book here, John Lamb's Head, Sci-Fi Skirmish Scenarios, Small Unit Missions for Use with Your Favorite Wargaming Rules. Very cool book, highly recommend it. Um, and it's got lots of really interesting ideas. And you can see here, I, I'm a terrible human being because I dog ear the pages, uh, mostly because I couldn't find a post-it note at two in the morning. Um, when I was reading it. So, uh, yeah, if you don't have that book, I would highly recommend it. Uh, we're going to look at some of the scenarios as we sort of play the game, so maybe you can reserve judgment until then and then work out what you want to do. But, yeah, that's the plan anyway. Uh, we'll steal them, you know, scenarios from that book as well as others that I come up with as we kind of, you know, as the narrative requires. Now, if we're going to play a campaign, we need uh, a setting to play it in, right? Uh, the, the William Silvestri things like you need a map. Well, we're not going to do a map as such for this. We're not going to go to that extent. We might do that with our fantasy one. Um, but, uh, I am also a nerd. I have, this is called Dragon Star. Uh, it's a 3.5 D20 system, uh, add-on by Fantasy Flight. Is it Fantasy Flight? I'm pretty sure it's Fantasy Flight. Uh, and the, maybe not. Maybe it's published by the Wizards of the Third Coast. I don't know. Wizards of the Third Coast? No, it is Fantasy Flight. There you go. You don't care if it's Fantasy Flight. Why am I asking you this? The reason why I'm showing you this book is I used it to make a whole bunch of space systems. Well, one system in particular. One star system. And look at that. Being the nerd that I am, I coloured it in. That's pretty. Uh, we'll kind of go through these in a more thorough way, uh, you know, so if you don't care, you can skip it. Um, but basically, what I did was I randomly generated the number of planets, the kind of star it is, and then randomly generated each planet as, as we kind of, you know, go go through there. And each of those kind of comes with its own little ideas. And that's going to be the setting for, for where we are. Um, I will do some videos where I kind of, you know, make it pretty and make it a bit interesting introducing you to that. So that's kind of what we've got so far. That's our goal is to, you know, kind of have some fun. We've got our locations. We've got our setting. We're going to begin on Lakshmi 4. Uh, in the Kashane sector, and that's going to be very exciting for all of us, uh, I'm sure. Very exciting for me, at least. So hopefully, that is a good start to, you know, what we're, we're doing, uh, a plan for where we're going, uh, and we'll have some fun.